Wouldn't it be great to be able to save all the different output routings um, from all tracks in one preset and then recall them? It's possible now via Max for Live device. Hi, I'm Toby from AbenDrummer.com. I just released this device here. I put it on the master track. It can sit anywhere and you can store all the different output routings in up to 10 slots here and you can automatically reload um, your presets here as well if you want to. So um, why do you, why might you need that? So uh, for example, if you are touring and you have like a terms, external sound card with 10 audio outputs, you have all those different outputs set, like maybe for your return tracks or maybe for single tracks here as well. And as soon as you don't have the sound card available anymore, which could be on your, um, like in your hotel room or something, you aren't able to um, get those tracks and you need to change those tracks, the audio two to the master or to external one two to be able to listen to them on the computer or on its own. So what you wanna do now first is you wanna select a preset, let's take number one and save all the stuff during um, or when your external sound card you're actually using is connected. So I press store here and I can even put in a name for that. Let's put it performance. Performance routing could be as well. It's spelled wrong. So let's do this right. Perf routing. Maybe like this. And it's a little bit small, but as soon as I press enter, I can see the text clear. So I want to store this. It's saved now. So let's pretend um, you are um, now without this all those uh, different outputs here. So this would be the situation. And if you want to make use and if you want to hear everything from those tracks, you could set the tracks you want to to master. So you could do it like this, select the ones and then just set those to master, the one which are being selected. Or you can use the device as well and you can click here on set tracks to master. And now all the tracks are being set to the master tracks who are now able to hear all of those routings. But obviously those routings will destroy, if you now say, change something and save the set, you lost all the different routings. So what you wanna do is you want to load the routing on start number one, which was like the um, routing, the performance routing we saved just before that. So if we are now saving this set, and if we're now reopening the set, so look, everything is set to master or all the single tracks are set to master. So let's reload the set and you can see it's taking like uh, two to three seconds and it's setting all those different routings back to the one we saved before um, because I don't have my output port here available or my output ports. So let's um, load this again, don't save. So now all the different external outs will be set to the right outputs they were uh, available before for the performance routing. So um, obviously you can have more than one preset here. So for example, um, let's do one set tracks to master and select preset number two. And let's call this all master maybe and let's press store so now i can switch manually between those two presets here it takes a little time to load like a few seconds so uh, you can see now this is being changing so i could include now if i if i would like to sometimes it makes sense some for some routings it doesn't make sense i could it include the re return tracks here so obviously i now need to restore um, and override the new presets here. So let's have the second one and let's include um, set auto masters. Uh, let's press this one again. So now even the audio track, uh, the return tracks will be set to master here as well. We need to restore this because we just added some new info in here. Obviously, if you change stuff and if you want stuff to be changed, you need to um, override um, the current preset you are on. 
So if I'm now switching between one and two, you could see even the return tracks, uh, the send and return tracks will um, um, change their out routing. Cool. One more thing to add. So you could include the pan settings here as well. So let us go back to number one uh, and change some stuff on the pan settings here just to make an, a really obvious example. So we need to um, restore the current setting we just made. Store on here and let's go to our second and maybe just put them the other way around or maybe put them centered all and we need to override the current all master thingy we just did press store so now the new um preset with the pen information is included here as well so if i now switch between preset one bomb we can see we got the panning and if we're going to preset two bomb we get the center panning here. So um, one more thing just to make sure everyone understood this. So if we have this performance routing one, this is the one you want to reload on start. You need to save this during um, or wh while your external sound card is connected so that you actually have the right settings here. Um, you might be able to save this as well once it's not connected, but just to make sure, um, put in this plugin while you're connected to your external sound card, press save or store this as a preset, and then make sure um, if you want this to be automatically um, reloaded on start, you can um, have this button here, load routing on start, select the preset you want to uh, pick from that. So if we are in number two here now, bomb, I save the set. So actually everything should be on master, but if I reload the set, it's gonna reload automatically set number one. And there we go. Cool. Okay. Um, link in the video description for the device. Check it out and uh, take care. Bye-bye.